What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be tying two of my favorite murky or stained water jig patterns. For the first one I'm going to be using a pink 16th ounce jig head and a black UTC Ultra Thread 70 denier. I'm just going to start the thread at the head and create a nice base that goes down to the point of the hook. For the tail I'm going to be using a chartreuse marabou feather, just a single feather that's pretty fluffy. So we want that to be about the length of the hook and we can just tie it in right there at the point. So you want to secure that down pretty well and tie that feather up to the head. Make sure the tail stays straight the way that you tied it in. And once that is secure, we can clip the butt end off with our scissors. And clean that up with the thread. Then we can just bring our thread back down to where we tied in the feather. For the body, I'm going to be using a black chenille, and we're just going to tie that in again where we tied in the feather, and we want the tag end to go to the head. And we're going to start winding that chenille. Nice even wraps, and each turn we want, we want it to press up against the last. This will create a nice even body. Once you get that to the head, just tie that down. And the reason I use these particular colors, the chartreuse and the pink really stand out when the water is not clear, and the black is really visible to the fish as well, so this is just a really good color combination. And once it's nice and secure, you can clip the chenille. Now we're going to whip finish. And cut the thread. And this one's my favorite. This has been the most productive jig for me. So for the second jig, we're going to be using a black 16th ounce jig head and the same black UTC Ultra Thread 70 denier. Again, create a thread base from the head that goes to the point of the hook. Black seems to really be good in the, in the stained and murky water. For the tail, I'm going to be using one yellow and one pink marabou feather. So again, we want that to be about the length of the last jig, which is the length of the hook. So we're just going to line up the feathers and tie them in. Make sure they're nice and straight. It doesn't really matter which color goes on top and which goes on bottom. Now we're just going to tie the butt ends up to the head. And once you've got it secured well, clip those off. Again, clean that up with the thread while also securing the feathers so they don't move around. If you don't secure it well, sometimes when the jig is finished, the chenille and the tail will just spin freely and you definitely don't want that. You could even add a little glue to make sure it doesn't move. For the chenille, I'm going to be using a black tinsel chenille. It has some blue, purplish, and goldish reflective fibers in there that make it very visible. So I'm just going to grab a little piece of that and tie it in right there. And you want the butt end to go about to the head so that it has a nice even body again. And 
can take your time here, make sure the chenille is tied down properly. And once you've got it how you want it, you can start turning that. Again, nice even straight turns. Make sure each turn is pressed up against the last. I really love this chenille. These reflective fibers just give it a little something extra. Looks like I have just enough to make it to the head of the jig. So once you've got it there, just tie that down. Tie it down tight so that it doesn't come loose. And you could even add a little bit of super glue, just a drop, to make sure that doesn't come apart. Clip that off. And now we can whip finish. So the pink and the yellow, I don't know why, but it's worked super well for me when the water is not clear. They just seem to be really visible to crappie. And then black, of course, is always visible. So this just seems to be a really good combination. Both these jigs have been incredible for me. They catch tons of fish, but don't take my word for it. Tie some up for yourself and see how they do. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.